Hey and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we'll be reviewing the Weera or Weera, whichever way you want to say it, Zyklop Mini 1 part number 8001A, which is a combo quarter inch ratchet slash bit driver when you take the chuck off the main body or the head or whatever you want to call this thing. Um, you take it off the main body like that and it immediately converts into a bit driver and um, that right off the bat when I saw this for sale I knew I had to have it because it is a very versatile tool and I've been using it for about two weeks at this point and it's slowly becoming my favorite quarter inch ratchet slash bit driver because of many reasons which we'll discuss in this video. Now, first of all, let's go over the Amazon page for this thing. As you can see, it initially was $39.90, but it's been dropped to $29.18, which I bought it for. That's the Amazon page. You can uh, get it from the Weera store itself. Do not get it off eBay or anywhere else. It's actually cheaper on Amazon from the uh, the manufacturer itself, the Weera store over there. Um, if you get it from eBay and all, there's gonna be a markup. So get it from Amazon itself. And uh, that is the main front of the page. Um, we are 50, 73, 8001A quarter inch square drive bit ratchet with 60 teeth. Let's scroll over there. You can pause and read all of that. So um, it's color, it just says multi brand Weera alloy steel. This is not exactly chrome vanadium. It's just, uh, I think entirely steel, uh, 0 0.2 pounds. Those are the dimensions, extremely robust and uh, extremely robust and durable, uh, suitable for quarter inch hex bits under blah, 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 blah. Uh, drop forged steel, all steel construction, fine tooth ratchet. It also has Weera's craft form handle with proven craft form geometry. That's a design by Weera for all their handles. They use them in screwdrivers and other stuff as well. So this shape, this general shape, it's what Weera calls craft form. So uh, it's probably their take on a special handle design and only they can actually use that. It's probably, um, it's probably patented. So yeah, so that was the Amazon page to this thing. Now, as you can see, this thing is tiny. I showed you the dimensions earlier. This thing is a tiny ratchet. Let's bring it closer to something relatable inside. Oh, might as well grab one of these wrenches. So here is a Craftsman USA. Uh, what size is this thing? It's a three uh, to three quarters. So as you can see there, standard wrench, double-ended, uh, so, okay, three quarter and five eighths actually. So, um, as you can see, this thing is tiny. It's a very, very small ratchet. So, that's a quick size comparison there. And uh, it's made of an alloy steel, as you can see there. It also said on the uh, description that it says Weera over there and the port number slash the size of the main chuck here. It comes with this, of course, and it comes in a quite fancy box, honestly, for such a small little ratchet. Um, that's the box it comes in, really well presented. Um, picture of the ratchet here, Weera, full steel, extra slim, switch, fine tooth, nothing on that side. This is the back, so that's the part number of the ratchet itself, and that's the part number of the small chuck-like thing it comes with that goes into the head, the, the, the head, basically. Um, and then don't use as a pry bar chisel. You can pause this and read that. Um, Weera is a German brand, by the way, if you didn't already know. Um, these are made in Taiwan, however, it is a German brand. Um, if you didn't already know that, this opens like that, and uh, it's presented um, like so in the box, the chuck is removed, of course, and uh, it's put towards the side there, but that's, that's in the box. This is the bottom of the box there, Oop, drop that. And here it comes with this small manual-like thing. You can pause it and read it. It's about how to use the thing in different languages. There's three versions of this thing, actually, the Zyklop Mini 3, the Mini 2, and the Mini 1. This is the Mini 1. Um, it's in German and Swiss and a bunch of other languages there. You can pause it and read it. Let's flip over to this side again, pause it and read it. Um, just a bunch of information. Quite interesting packaging for a relatively cheap ratchet that's really well built, by the way. Honestly, 
definitely worth the money if you want a quick answer but let's go into the more fine details now so it said it's a 60 tooth ratchet and it's really fine tooth so let me stop talking so you can listen to it So really satisfying fine tooth mechanism inside there. Of course, not serviceable like I'd usually like it to be. I like to service my own ratchets. I have a habit of filling the ratchet head with grease, with uh, heavy duty grease in them. Not ultra heavy duty, but relatively heavy duty grease. It helps with the sound and the, the feel of it, in my opinion. I just like it that way. And it helps with longevity as well. They tend to wear less on the teeth on the inside, but this one, you cannot really service it. It's a sealed design. You can probably take this off, but I don't think this is serviceable um, as you can see there. So this is the switch. You can easily flip it with your thumb like that. It's very, it's not too loose, but it's right about where it should be um, on terms of uh, looseness or tightness. And then you can pull this off. Sometimes it could be a bit tough to pull it off, um, but when you're, um, when your hands are greasy or anything like that, this lip-like thing here helps with grip so you can easily pull it off. So it never really slid off on me uh, while I was using it. So that is the chuck or the main quarter inch. Um, yeah, I just call it a chuck, whatever you can call it, whatever. Um, and that comes off and then you have your uh, bit driver over there. Let me grab a bit here. I have a Phillips over there. So it just goes in. There you go. And you have your bit driver like that. Pull it off. Some, and depending on the length of your bit, it's going to be a bit harder or to, a bit easier depending on how much you grip you have. Now, this is a shorter bit, so it takes a bit more grip to get hold of it. And if your hands are greasy, it's going to be a bit tougher. But if your bits are longer, it's going to be easier. And then you can easily swap over like that and then put on your socket and get to work and this will work really well with shallow sockets with stubby sockets now this is a standard uh crescent t10 uh, one of my favorite uh torex sockets as you can see there it's uh, actually a security torex it's got that hole at the top there and uh, it's a standard size it's not stubby or anything like that but i do have a uh, stubby or shallow if you may um set of sockets uh back at my workplace and they work great with um with this ratchet i was working on the main um platform level angle sensor platform angle sensor on a newer genie track boom a s65 tracks and it's got this hockey puck like angle sensor for the jib and the main basket and that thing is held together by four screws two main screws on one of the on the main mechanism and two smaller screws on the sub mechanism and um there's a big bundle of hydraulic cables and wires and stuff bundled together going right over that sensor and there's not much space to put in a big ratchet and this thing with a shallow i think it was a hex yeah it was a hex uh with a shallow hex i was able to creep in there and get started on uh, ratcheting that um, out and then I took this off and did it with my fingers. However, this was man this managed to creep in there between the, the sensor itself and that big bundle of hydraulic cables and hy hydraulic hoses and wires and all that stuff. And I was able to uh, get that sensor free thanks to this ratchet. I didn't need another guy to hold that entire uh, mess of cables and all that stuff up while I put a big ratchet in there. Instead, I could just do it myself because this thing fit in that tight spot. So a really useful ratchet for tight spots. And this thing will ratchet with barely any force on, with your fingers. You can easily use it 
um, with your fingers if it's in a weird spot like you're trying to creep in and this will you actually get turned from this and since it's such a fine tooth you're definitely gonna get stuff moving and that's basically what this thing is designed for tight spaces fine tooth fast ratcheting a uh, quick ratcheting mechanism um, and very satisfying as well I really love that fine tooth the sound I, I don't I don't know if that really conveys through through the camera here, but um, you should definitely use this to uh, f to understand what I'm saying. It's definitely a well worth ratchet um, for the price, especially. Sure, you don't get a full kit of so of uh, bits and stuff, but I mean, I, who doesn't have bits at this point? The standard bits, who doesn't have them? If you have a slightly longer bit, it would be better, like I said, to take it off like that. But um, since I've been using this uh, throughout the past two weeks, this thing has come in handy so many times. The only downside to this being it this tiny is probably you can lose it a bit easier. But if you keep an eye on it, uh, make sure it's there every time after you complete a job, you should be fine. But um, everything else about this is just amazing. So yeah, that was my uh, sort of quick review on the Vera Zyclops 1 part number 8001A combo quarter inch mini ratchet slash uh, bit driver. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you honestly did, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up on the like button down below and let me know down in the comment section if you have any thoughts on this ratchet or if you own one already and you or you're thinking of getting one, um, we can start a discussion down in the comment section below and thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.